Hi, welcome back. Today is day four of area of triangles and quadrilaterals, and we're going to be talking about all three of them today. I'm just going to do a review of all three of them. So let's start with squares. Da, 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 da. See, front and center, squares. Okay, so let me get my handy dandy post-it note here. We're going to do a square that is seven by seven. So it's gonna be seven inches by seven inches. Now, do you remember what to do? Because remember, we're talking about all these little squares inside if we cut this up. So it's gonna be side times side. So seven times seven. Seven times seven is equal to the area. So side times side equals area. And that is 49 is equal to the area. And I'm just gonna move it over here. A is equal to 49. And we're gonna call that inches squared. Oops, looks like I dropped my post-its. Okay. So we have side times side equals area, and we've got our inches becoming square inches. The area is square units. Have I said that enough yet? Hopefully that's starting to be cemented in your brain. Okay, so now let's talk about not squares, but drum roll please rectangles. Okay, so rectangles are very similar to squares, right? Except we call it length times width equals the area because the sides are going to be different. So we need different variables in our formula. So that's why we have an L and a W. We're in the square, they're the same. Okay, so we're going to have a rectangle that is, what are we going to do? Five feet times 15 feet. So remember, we're trying to calculate all those little squares that would be inside. So we're going to do the length, 15 times the width, five equals the area. We don't put the answer to this over here because this is a formula. So we're going to make sure we're plugging in and solving. So five, uh, 15 times 5 is 75, which is equal to the area. And it's not just 75 one dimension. It's 75 in two dimensions. So it is 75 feet squared, or square feet, is equal to the area. Okay, so that was one example for that. And... Now let's do our last shape or figure, triangles. Okay, so remember, triangles are basically like cutting a square or a rectangle in half, right? If I have my rectangle here and I cut it in half diagonally, I'm gonna get a triangle. Sorry, that wasn't perfect, but you get the idea. So for triangles, the formula we're gonna use is area equals base times height divided by two. Now, you'll see a lot where it says area equals one half base times height, which is true, it is one half of it. But as far as calculating goes, it's a lot easier in most people's minds to divide by two than to multiply by one half. So we're gonna stick with dividing by two. So let's look at our example. We're going to have our triangle right here. And to find the height, it will have something like this, like these dotted lines. And we'll show you this is a square corner. This is a 90 degree right angle. Okay, and we're gonna say this is seven centimeters by five centimeters. So we are going to follow the formula and it's going to be 5 
times 7 divided by 2 is equal to the area. 5 by 7, 5 times 7 is 35. So we're going to do 35 divided by 2 is equal to the area. 35 divided by 2 is 17 and a half. And it's not just 17 and a half, it's 17 and a half centimeters squared is equal to the area. So there you have it. It's just one more step, um, different than the rectangle. And it's the dividing by two because in any triangle, you are essentially half of a, a rectangle that has the same dimensions. So that's why that works. Okay, well, those that should sum it up for you of how to find the area of rectangles, squares, and triangles. And good luck today. You're going to do a mix of all three of those. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.